Peace be upon you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today's lesson is uh, how to write a film review. Now look at this picture. So the objective of today's lesson is that by the end of the video, you will be able to write a film review. Uh, British people say film review, but Americans say movie review. Now look at the picture here. We have a book and we have what? We have a movie or a film. So what does it mean? It means that the movie is a part of the book. That means the story in the movie is taken from the book. Very good. Now, before you start, let's answer these questions. Do you like watching films? Uh, if yes, you have to say what kinds of films do you like? Uh, I bet that all people now like watching films. So, if you like watching films, can you think about types or kinds of films that you like watching? For example, I like uh, watching action movies. This is my opinion. This is what I like. Good. Now, before we start, let's discover new types of movies. Now, let's do the exercise number one. Types of movies vocabulary matching. Look at the words in the list below and write them under the correct pictures. Western, action, romance, science fiction, horror, cartoon, comedy, historical, fantasy, documentary, war, and musical. Now we have 12 pictures. So now you can open your notebook or you can take a piece of paper and uh, do this exercise. You can pause the video and think. Now I will show you uh, the answer key. So number one is comedy, two documentary, three horror, four fantasy, five romance, six musical, seven Cartoon, 8. Historical, 9. War, 10. Action, 11. Western, and the last one is uh, science fiction. So, after knowing the types of uh, movies, now I want you to look at this uh, GIF. This is uh, a photo. Okay, so we have... Uh, Mini actions. So, where are these actions taken? So, are they taken in uh, in a market, in a house? So the the answer is uh, in the cinema. Very good. So now look at the other photos. The question is, have you seen the movie or have you seen this movie before? So, if, if you saw this movie, what is the title of this movie, if you have seen it? So, would you like to see it? Would you like to see this movie? So, what's the title of the film? So, if you don't know the title, I will show you the title. Now, uh, the title is uh, Cinema Paradiso. And what you see at the right side is uh, the poster of uh, the film. Now, look at here, we have uh, the film review is about four paragraphs. We have one, two, three, and four. 
So let's start. Uh, I will read for you. Cinema Paradiso was directed by Giuseppe Tornatore. It stars Filippi, Philip Noiré as Alfredo and Salvatore Cashew, who plays the part of the boy. The movie won an Oscar in 1989 for Best Foreign Language Film. The movie is set in an Italian village in the, in the 1940s and 50s. It was filmed on location in Sicily. It is about a little boy called Salvatore who ends up becoming a famous movie director. At the beginning of the story, he goes back to his village for the first time in 30 years for the funeral of an old friend, Alfredo. The rest of the movie is a flashback about his childhood. In his village, there is only one movie theater called Cinema Paradiso. Salvatore is crazy about movies, so he spent all the time, I'm sorry, all his time there. He becomes friends with Alfredo, the man who shows the movies and later he works as his assistant. But when he is a teenager, he leaves the village and goes to work in Rome. And in the end, he becomes a famous director. He never sees Alfredo again. I strongly recommend Cinema Paradiso. It makes you laugh and cry. It has a memorable soundtrack and is a moving tribute to the magic to the magic of the early days of movies. So now after reading the book review, now we will go to answer some comprehension questions. So read the movie review. Number the paragraph summaries below in order from 1 to 4. So as you see in the review we have four paragraphs. Here we have what? We have a scrambled. We have scrambled uh, paragraphs. Okay. So the first is the paragraph is here we have what? We have the plot. The plot means the story. Next we have the name of the movie, the director the stars and any prizes it won. Next we have why you recommend this movie and the last one is where and when it was set. So if you if you understand the film review now we can do this exercise. You can open your notebook and you can now let's go back to the previous slide. So now we can read the the paragraphs and do the exercise. So we can pause the video to answer. Now let's show the answers. So the answers. So paragraph one, we have the name of the movie, the director, etc. Paragraph two, we have where and when it was set. Paragraph three, we have the plot. And paragraph four, we have why I recommend this movie. So all these are the key answer to the, to the task number two. Now let's move to task number three. So before we start again, look at the third paragraph again. So what tense do we usually use to tell the story of a film or a book? So let's go back to the previous slide. Now look at the paragraph number three. It is about a little boy called Salvatore who ends up until he never sees Alfredo again. So uh, just focus on the verbs and uh, try to find out the tense that is used mostly in the paragraph number three. You can pause the video. So the answer key is uh, we normally use the present tense to tell the plot of a movie or a book. That means the plot, the story of the movie or of a film or of a, a book, we use all the time the present simple. Okay. I will show you. For example, we have it is, is, ends, and uh, goes, etc. Now let's move to while writing step. Now you are going to choose a film. Uh, you have to choose now a film or a movie that you have watched. Maybe that you watched uh, yesterday, maybe last week, maybe uh, last two years, etc. Then we will start brainstorming. 
Now you can take uh, your notebook, you can open your notebook and draw down this table. So we have here, we have uh, uh, like uh, uh, like a kind of uh, guidance to guide you to fill in the required, to fill in, I'm sorry, to fill in this table with required information. For example, now we are going to do brainstorming. This is the easiest way to brainstorm your ideas. So we can start with the title of the film. For example, you can write the title of the film here. Then type of the film. If you remember the types of the film, like science fiction, action, romance, etc. Then name of the director. If you, if you are going to write a film review, you can mention the name of the director. If you are going to, to write a, a book review, you can, you can uh, mention the name of the writer. They are the same. Then the characters. Characters, that means uh, the, main, the main people in the story. Okay, the main, that means the most important characters in the story. Where and when it was set. Where place and when time. For example, where place uh, a village, a mountain, forest, uh, city, uh, town, country, etc. When time, Middle Ages, 1998, etc. Then we have plot or story. That means what is the film about? Okay, the main idea. Then what happens at the beginning of the film, the first event? Then what happens in the middle of the film? Here, that means uh, the most important events, uh, the change, okay? Uh, and what happens in the ending of the film? So, you can just uh, include five events or four events. Uh, that's it. And the last paragraph is why you recommend this movie, right? At least three reasons why your reader should watch that film. So here you can give your opinion about the film and you can mention what you like about the film and what you don't like about the film and try to give reasons what you like about the film because of these reasons or, or what I don't like about the, this film because of these reasons, etc. Good. Now, after uh, brainstorming, you can start drafting. You can first start with the title of the film. Then you can move to paragraph one. As you, you have seen here, we can start with I have recently watched or I have recently seen. Then you can give the title of the film. So that was directed by, if you are going to mention the name of the director, you have to say that was directed or directed. But if you are going to mention the name of the writer, you have to say that was written by and the name of the writer. Then you are going to give what? To give the type of the film. For example, you can say it's a science fiction film or it's a, a romance film, etc. Then you are going to say the latter stars and mention the names of the characters. The latter refers to the film instead of uh, uh, repeating the same word. You can you say it stars or the latter the same? They are the same. So here you are going to mention the names of the characters, just the, the most important characters in the story. Good. Next, you are going to move to paragraph number two. You are going to say the movie is set in the place, forest, village, mountain, river, etc. And in the time, in Middle Ages or in 1998, uh, etc. Then we move to paragraph number three. We can say it's about, you are going to focus on the main character. So it's about someone who, verb plus object. So we have to use the verb after who, relative uh, pronoun. Okay, for example, who does something, who lives in somewhere, something like that. Then you can start giving the, the plot. For example, at the beginning of the story, what happens, the first event, the next main event, then the main event, etc. You can add other, other uh, sequential words like furthermore, uh, moreover, in addition, uh, etc. 
then you will mention the last the last event in the end then you will give what will what happened at the end of the movie or the story or the book nice so finally you will move to paragraph number four you can say i strongly recommend i'm going to mention the title of the film uh, i really enjoy for example if you like the movie you can say i really enjoyed it because you are going to give your reason but if you didn't enjoy it you can say i really didn't enjoy it because then you will give your reason uh, sometimes you can say i really like and mention what you like but i don't like you can mention your likes and uh, dislikes about the movie or the book that you have watched or read so uh, you can include both of them you can include just one as you like you are free so it depends on the the movie or on your opinion that you have then you can say that's why i advise people to watch it or to watch the film or if the movie is uh, is not that good enough you can say that's why i advise people not to watch it so so after drafting you can uh, try to edit and revise to check your writing so i have uh, provided you with uh, some writing checklist for you so you can uh, start checking first the the organization of paragraphs that means uh, try to to indent your paragraph that means all four paragraph all four paragraphs should be indented and try to make sure that they are four and well organized then you can check grammar grammar for example try to focus on tenses like exactly in paragraph number three where uh, you, you write the plot of the story you have to focus on uh, on using the present simple and uh, sorry then uh, you have to check vocabulary the words that are uh, used in uh, in writing are they relevant uh, to describe uh, the movie or to talk about the movie then we have mechanics like spelling punctuation as a period full stop question mark etc if you use them in your writing and finally capitalization the first letter of uh, of uh, sorry the first letter in the sentence try to capitalize every first letter in the sentence or after period capitalize the first letter so then you can proofread the, your writing try to 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 read it again okay and check your mistakes if there are some mistakes if there are something to add or to remove and uh, just to refine your work finally you can publish your work uh, with others like your teacher your friends uh, readers or you can publish it on facebook uh, using other uh, uh, social media tools uh, as you know so i hope that you you like the video so i would like to thank you so much for watching this video uh, and I, ho I hope that you learned a lot of things on how to write a film review or a book review so thank you so much see you next time goodbye